Exercise number one, crunches. Crunches are a champion of burning belly fat and flattening the stomach in a snap. So lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet planted firmly on the mat about hip width apart. Put your hands behind your head, making sure that your thumbs are placed behind your ears and that your fingers support your head. Then, use your abs to lift your upper body off the floor, keeping your elbows wide apart. Go back to the initial position and repeat. Inhale as you go down and exhale as you lift up. We're gonna do three sets of 10. Ready? Let's go. On my count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't interlace your fingers. It'll put too much pressure on your neck. Okay, set number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing great. Don't just swing yourself up. Use your abs. And one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bravo! Exercise number two, side bends. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and raise your arms straight up over your head as you inhale. Now, you're gonna simultaneously bend to your right side, lower your right arm to your right side, stretch your left arm up over your head, and exhale. Return to the starting position as you inhale. Do the same thing on your left side. Again, three sets of 10 on my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Just make sure that you bend only at the waist and use your obliques to do it. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doing side bends regularly will obliterate that annoying muffin top we all hate so much. Keep it up one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It'll get easier over time, so when that happens, you can grab some dumbbells for needed resistance. For now, let's move on to our next exercise. Exercise number three, vertical leg lifts. Leg lifts are a true miracle worker for toning the lower abs. You know, zapping away that stubborn belly pooch. This'll do it. So lie on your back with your arms down at your sides and your legs straight and pulled together. From this position, lift both legs up until your hips form a 90 degree angle. Then, lower them back down until they hover above the floor. Hold this position for about two to three seconds and then lift your legs up again. No time to waste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale as you lower your legs and exhale on the way up. Try that on this next set. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If keeping your legs straight as you lift them is too hard, you can cross your ankles and bend your knees slightly for now. And our final set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done! Remember that the more slowly you do this exercise, the harder it gets. So if you really want to train those lower abs, do the lifts as slow as possible. Exercise number four, forearm plank. Get into a push-up position with your forearms on the ground instead of your hands. Your shoulders should be in line with your elbows. Make sure that your whole body forms a perfectly straight line and look down, not straight ahead. Don't let your hips dip towards the floor. You'll need to engage your abs to keep that from happening. 
using the correct form is key for a plank to be effective. Now that we're in position, let's hold it for 30 seconds, starting now. Plank is easily one of the most popular exercises out there, and that comes as no surprise. It might look simple, but it's actually extremely effective for strengthening your abs, obliques, back, and pelvic floor. When done correctly, it'll cinch your waistline like a corset. Five more seconds, and amazing! Exercise number five, bridge exercise. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet hip width apart. Keep your arms down at your sides. Now, raise your hips up to create a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Curl your spine and come back down. We're gonna do three sets of 20. Think you can do it? I know you can, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Make sure to inhale as you go up and exhale on your way down. Try that for this next round. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nice! Tighten your abs and glutes to make the exercise even more effective. Last set. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There you go. Do bridges regularly, and you'll see not only tightened abs, but a nicely shaped rear end, too. Exercise number six, side plank. Time for another plank exercise. This time, we're gonna pump up the difficulty and therefore the body slimming results with a side plank. So lie on your right side with your elbow directly below your shoulder and your left foot on top of the right one. Lift your hips to create a straight line from your feet to the top of your head. Again, we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, begin. The side plank is a great exercise that will tone your core muscles, boost your metabolism, and improve your stamina. If it's kinda hard for you, you can bend your knees a little bit. Just don't let your hips drop. We're almost at the finish line here. Just a couple more seconds, and done. Exercise number seven, Cobra Pose. Lie on your stomach, straighten your legs out behind you. Keep your hands under your shoulders and point your elbows back. Press your feet and thighs against the floor. Then straighten your arms and lift your chest off the ground. Press your tailbone towards your pubic bone and your shoulder blades towards each other. Hold this pose for 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Cobra Pose tones your abs, strengthens your arms and shoulders, and even boosts your mood. You'll see these results in no time once you start doing this simple exercise regularly. The key here is to breathe calmly. It helps make the exercise a bit less challenging. Five, four, three, two, one. Great! One more exercise to go. Exercise number eight, boat pose. And our final exercise for today is yet another yoga pose. But get ready to work because the boat pose is by far the hardest exercise in our workout. Still, let's give it a try. Sit on your bottom with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Now, lean back slightly and lift your feet so that your shins are parallel to the floor. Stretch your arms out in front of you at shoulder height to keep your balance. Hold this position for 30 seconds. Let's go. The knees bent boat pose is better if you are a beginner since it's a lot easier than the straight leg kind. Focus on engaging your abs and stretching your spine as much as possible. Just 10 more seconds. Wonderful. 
If you think you've got what it takes, let's try the harder version. This time, keep your legs as straight as you can so that your body forms a V-shape. Your 30 seconds starts now. This exercise stimulates the kidneys and helps improve digestion. It'll also leave you with a perfectly flat and toned belly. Make sure to keep your abs engaged and your back straight to make the exercise work to the fullest. If you feel that you're losing the V-shape, you can bend your knees for a few seconds, but try to keep them straight most of the time. Three, two, one, and done.